Hey friends, it's Len here at 1A Auto. Today I'm working on a 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser and I'm gonna be removing and reinstalling the front skid plates. It's gonna be a very easy job. I wanna be the one that shows you how to do it. If you need any parts, you can always check us out at 1AAuto.com. Thanks. So I'm gonna use my 12 millimeter with an extension and go right up in this hole right here. There's a bolt that goes up into the body of the vehicle. That's what it looks like. We're gonna do the same thing to the others. Gonna be the last one here. There we are. Slide this down. Just hooked on to. There it is. There we are. We removed our shield. We'll get this out of the way. So right up front here, you should have two bolts. One here, one here, 12 millimeters. These ones are missing. But I do want to tell you that right up here, there's these little hooks that go up and they go up into the frame area there. Okay? So that's why this can't really go anywhere. We'll move along. On the rear, you've got a 12 millimeter up in this hole. that out of there. We're going to grab this last one right here. When we do this, the shield's going to want to come down. So make sure you're clear. Hold it up if you need to. There we are. Pop it here. It's our two bolts. All right, time to bring the shield down. Do that, we're just gonna go down, pull it towards the front a little bit, and over the side, and look at it. There we are, just like that. Easy peasy, we've removed our front shield. We're just gonna spray the bolt holes with some copper spray. There wasn't any bolts in those for uh, my vehicle, but it's a good habit. Okay, let's come down here. That's just gonna make those come off easy peasy. There, cool. Okay, it's time to put up our shield. I just wanted to show you, you got your little hook right here. That hook is gonna go inside this hole. So I have a couple bolts in my hand. I have my 12 millimeter socket and an extension. The hook's holding up the rear of the plate. And that's nice, because it gives me an extra help for uh, holding up the skid plate. Here we are, get those started. We'll get a couple in the back there. Okay, we've got them all started. We can go ahead and tighten them up. Okay, 12 millimeter, I'm gonna blast these in. tight, we can move ahead to our next step. So we've got our skid plate. On the skid plate, you've got a little hook here and one over there. They go up inside these grooves. So you wanna have it in the downward position, line those up with where they need to go. However, there we are. We'll swing the skid plate up, just give it a loving bonk. I'm gonna use my 12 millimeter socket, try to get this bolt lined up with its hole. Okay, that one started. Do the same to this one. Just right up inside this slot. There we are. Okay, let's tighten those up. Get my safety glasses on. I'm just gonna blast this up. There we are. We'll do this one, same thing. Cool. If you had the other two bolts that go in up here, you would replace those as well. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.